So this is my master study, Claude Monet. I'm going to do this painting on this canvas. I am going to grid it out and all of that. Since this is very skinny compared to this in terms of ratio, I'm probably going to cut off a little bit of this to get my proportions a little bit better to fit this canvas. So now what I need to do, I need to look at this real closely. What color do I want to start with? There's kind of a purpley, there's a bluish. I could start with this kind of color that's underneath. I could start with yellow and do blue over it. I could start with blue and do these colors over it. I have a lot of choices. I don't know exactly how um, Monet started this, but what I want to think about is what colors do I feel like I'm going to do last in terms of making them pop. I feel like I'm going to do these oranges and yellows, and this kind of reddish rust color. Back here, there's going to be some blue on top. But considering that my high impact is going to be these warm colors, then I'm going to prime it with a blue. So I'm going to aim for something either in this range or this kind of teal kind of color. I'm going to prime it in that, uh, my background. I can be real loose with it. I don't want to be textural. So this is going to build up with texture. So I don't want this to be too thick in the background. So I'll mix up some color and start laying it down. So remember when you're mixing colors, we keep talking about movement and making sure that we don't have flat areas of one color so that as I mix them together, I'll have some lights and darks. I don't have the exact same colors that Monet painted with. We're limited with our, with our color choices, but that doesn't mean that we're just stuck with one color blue because as I add some blue and green and yellow together, I can make these great greens. And then if I add a little bit more blue back into the green, I'm gonna have a good variety. I could easily grab some white and lighten these. We're gonna try and match colors as best we can. Maybe I need to mix in a little bit of white and get a little bit of a lighter blue as well. So I'll mix up a few different kinds of blue and start putting them down. You can dilute slightly with water, but not very much. So make sure your brush is not real wet. And this is when you may want to start using a brush like this. We can be real loose and get our background done pretty quickly on that. So I'm going to mix up some different colors and start putting that down. If I take the blue and add white and then a touch of red, that gives me a grayish kind of color. Bluish green with a little bit of white in it. I'm going to start laying it down on the canvas. So as I put this color down, two things. One, I'm trying to get reminiscent colors. I'm not gonna worry about the top layers yet because I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of a purple, that sort of thing, almost like a greenish yellow. So this is just a kind of a base that's gonna be behind everything else. So I'm not gonna be worried too much if I'm not 100% on it. And the other thing too is remember, you're not gonna just take tons of paint and thick do real thick i'm grabbing some paint and kind of brushing it across I'm mixing up my brush strokes so i'm not just solid sometimes you need just like a touch of water you can see how that makes it a little bit fluid but be aware of something like this this is too much this was too much water if you can see that it's a good idea to have a paper towel or something you want your brush damp so that the paint will spread. But you can see the difference between this where I'm kind of staining the canvas right here versus painting on it. So if this is what it looks like, that means you have too much water going on. Thinking ahead, I haven't done a sketch or anything. I can sketch on top of this if I want to. I can also be a little intuitive about this. So as it's still wet, right now I can drop in a little bit more color. I can also check and see if there's any white areas that I didn't quite get. I can start laying down a little bit of mix. What I do is kind of drag across, just barely getting a little bit of the dark and so with a real light pressure, real gentle touch, I can go in and drop in a little bit of that darker blue. 
This is also when I can think about the next steps because while well, it's still wet, is there anything else I want to integrate into this color? Obviously, I'm still going to go over it with other colors, but is this when I want to start putting in a little bit of the purple in that, the sky that we talked about earlier? So see how I'm just laying down a little bit of a mix because I don't want too solid. Right here, if you noticed, I started just going vertical strokes because that's where the house, the building, is going to be. This is one of his paintings he did in Venice. So we got all those homes and we'll have a bridge back here. So I can start doing that. Same thing down here where I have the water. The water is going to be a lot darker. It's going to have some darker greens, some darker blues, it's like some more purples. Now while it's wet, I can start mixing up that green and giving it a little bit more of a bluish kind of a sheen. I ended up making the bottom part green. There's a lot of green kind of hidden down there. So remember, as you're doing your background, you don't have to just do it all the same color. Obviously, you can kind of think of what's underneath the different areas. I'm thinking ahead a little bit. The other thing you may want to think about, if you're using a stretched canvas like this, if you think this is something you're going to display, if you want to do the sides at the same time so they kind of match, and then also you don't want to do this at the end because I'm going up here on the front, you can see. You don't have to do this now, but if it works to kind of do this and then you can integrate that into the side, that way I can work it in here without it messing anything else up. I'm not going to start on the buildings or any of my main subjects yet. So I'm going to add in a little bit more color. There's definitely some purples and almost some reds because this is reflecting up there. So I'm not going to do too much of this yet. Even, you know, this light blue, I'm not going to worry about that because I need to get the elements first so that I can make sure that the reflection matches up. I might throw in a little bit of this color while it's wet, that purple and maybe a little bit of that undertone. And then I'm going to let it dry. So now I have to decide if I want to sketch this out and measure it and grid it. Then once this is dry, now would be a good time. So you can see this is my basic first layer. But once again, you're trying to get some variety. So there's a little bit of a kind of a purplish, a light blue, kind of some green. Down here I added a little bit of like a darker kind of maroon. So right now, if I'm cutting off a little bit, the bridge is going to be about right here. So this building is going to be right up here. That tree will be up here. And then this building will be here. So even if I'm cutting off a little bit at the bottom, I can still figure out where is the middle. So the middle of this is about right here, just shy of this building. So like where I kind of started those vertical marks, I guessed pretty well. That's about where my building's going to be. The building's going to be about here. These other buildings will be in the background. This bridge here in the foreground. I have a rough idea of where everything is going to get placed. A couple of quick reminders working with acrylic. This has been rinsed out once, but this was what I was using that purpley maroon to paint with. So if I don't rinse this out a little bit better, then I'm going to have a little bit of that purple kind of poking through now that I'm switching colors. So double check your brushes are getting rinsed out really really well the other thing is to remember you do ideally want to mix colors with something not your brush <laughs> you can even use used gift cards plastic knife from you know to go those will all mix so now as i'm gonna mix you know try and mix a orange i do have to watch out because right now i got blue still on this edge so i do want to make sure that this is clean or I'm going to end up with blue in my orange. So when you're mixing, remember, take a little bit of yellow. Yellow is a weaker color. Depending on how, how much I want this to look like ketchup and mustard, I can get a real nice bright orange. What I might want to do is mix up some orange and then I'm going to load my brush up sometimes with some of the orange, some of the yellow. So mix enough that you have enough to work with here. It's alright if it's not 100% mixed together if you don't mind that streaky kind of a look. So now if I'm going to block in a little bit where that one building is, I don't want it to be solid. So I'm not going to and just color it in orange. I'm going to come in here a little bit looser. Some yellows tend to be a little um, thinner, but also 
they don't retain the brush strokes real real well so really experiment see how you can get this Okay, notice how I'm leaving a little bit of the background color there. I still have many, many layers. This building, it has some yellow, it has some pink, it has some red, it has some orange. So I have a lot to go. So I can grab a little bit of yellow. Dragging, remember, real light. I'm basically dragging across like this and like almost lifting up. Real light pressure. Whichever direction I feel like I want it to be heavier at, I start there. So now I'm starting at the bottom and then I'm lifting up as I go. Or if I want to drag it out at the bottom this way. So with acrylic, I do need to think back to front also. So right now I'm starting on the side building because it's kind of its own thing over here. But this is actually behind it. So what I need to do is block in this, block in this. So it's going to be a little bit yellow, but blue, and then block in you know, some of this and then start working back to front. So I need to get this area in next. Don't worry, this is not gonna stay this yellow. <laughs> but go ahead, start blocking in your next steps and then we'll come back. 